Hello, everyone. I've been asked today to share the story of how I became a midwife. I'm going to begin a little bit at the beginning, which is uh, I became an obstetrical nurse, as I'm sure many of you did, and that's how I started out on my career in maternity nursing. I later became the head nurse of the unit and worked for six years trying to do things like introduce rooming in, introduce sibling visits, uh, all kinds of things to try to improve the uh, health and experience of the women that I was serving. It was very difficult because there was a lot of resistance to many of the changes that I was trying to make, um, both by the nursing staff and by the obstetrical staff. There were many nurses that supported it, but there were many nurses that did not. So it was a very difficult job. About this time, I embarked on a educational program for a master's degree in nursing administration. And as part of, and I did that because in upstate New York, that was the only master's degree that was available to me that was geographically available to me. So I did that, and while I was in class, right along one of my last classes, I was required to spend one day a week with a nursing leader. So I had heard that Patty Brown, who was a nurse midwife, had been recruited down in Cooperstown to start the first nurse midwifery service in upstate New York. And uh, someone suggested I go spend time for her, with her since I was so interested in maternity nursing. So down I went to Cooperstown and I made the arrangement that I would spend one day a week with Patty Brown. Now, uh, I told Patty I had attended a lot of births and I felt at that time I was a pretty experienced maternity nurse. But the first birth that I did attend with Patty was so different than anything I had ever seen before. The woman was in a birthing room. Um, it was a very quiet and beautiful, um, supportive environment. Patty was kind of sitting on the edge of the bed very quietly while this woman was um, waiting to give birth and giving birth. And when the baby was born, the baby kind of came out and Patty gently, she was like ballet with birth. She'd done so many births and she gently kind of turned the baby up to the mother. And the baby did a moral reflex up to the mother and the mother reached down and pulled the baby up to her. And it was just the most moving experience I had ever seen in my life. And I had never seen birth like that. And so I was totally changed by that experience. It was as if I had known that there was a better way to do it. I just didn't know what that way was. So after that, shortly after that, well, actually the next day, I resigned my job as the obstetrical supervisor. And I determined that I was never going to participate in that type of birth again. I was going to become a nurse midwife. And uh, so it was hard because I lived in upstate New York. I lived six hours from New York City where the, mo the closest nurse midwifery education programs were. And so I went and I just would hang around with the midwives at Bassett instead of working. And I think my husband was a little bit concerned because we had three children and suddenly I wasn't working, but I was having a crisis of, of career. I knew I had to become a nurse midwife. Uh, I thought I would go to New York City when my youngest turned five, but guess what? Frontier came along, and the CNET program was born just about that time and offered me the opportunity to become a nurse midwife without leaving home. The rest is history. I enrolled in the first class of Frontier, and I embarked on my career as a nurse midwife. I worked at Bassett Hospital in Cooperstown for 10 years and then joined Frontier Nursing University and I've had a wonderful career here ever since, just supporting more recently my objective, which is to make midwives and nurse practitioners to improve health care for families. Thank you.